I smell something and it don't smell fresh. It's a new day in the workroom and my oh my am I happy that we're one step closer to the finale and that two girls went home last week and that we're almost at the end. Did I mention that we're almost at the end? I'm excited. Before we get into this week's video, don't forget to do all the stuff you normally do. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all the platforms. Patreon is there. Let's get into this week's video. We can't have seven people going into the finale. So I'm just happy I'm still here. To be honest, I personally did see a double sachet happening. So people that are like, I'm so shocked. I didn't see that coming. Were we watching the same show? Some pe people had to start going rapidly because it's been like weeks where the same people have been in the workroom. Ridiculous. I was starting to forget the girls who went home first. I had to like really rack my brain and I was like, who, who else was on this cast? June, Orion, and I had to like try to name everyone because I'm like, it's been so long. It felt like it was another season ago. Yeah, I'm glad two girls went home. Sad to see Georges and Deja because I love them both, but it's the name of the game. We gotta keep the ball rolling, you know? Where do we stack up now with wins? How many does everyone have? Miss Angeria seems nervous because the first half of the season, she was the front runner. She was winning back to back and she was killing every week where sometimes I thought she deserved the win and she didn't get it. So she's asking, where, where do we stack up now? So it's Bosco with three being top of the totem pole. But if you factor in how many times Bosco has been in the bottom, then she's probably not the front runner at all. Then Angeria with two, um, Lady Camden with two, um, and everybody else. That would be Willow and Diabetti with one win. At this point, I agree with Willow. Uh, how many wins you have does not matter because I personally wanted to see the person with the most wins go for the past two weeks. And in the beginning of the season, I had a very definitive top three. Then someone got injured and went home. So I had to recalibrate my top three. And as the season has gone by, I'm no longer confident in two people in my top three, just because the season has gone on for so long that I'm seeing a lot of cracks and they didn't look as perfect as they looked initially. And the more I see them sweat, the less I see them as winning material. I don't know. That's just me. I think it's her story, girl. Yeah. First top five with two people that got eliminated. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a really valid point, Angeria top five and two of the top five have been eliminated from the competition fully diabetti was the first person eliminated and she came back and she didn't slay every challenge but she slayed every episode because she was interesting she had something to say and every now and then i was like i'm into what you're doing and bosco Lip synced for her life that one episode, got told to sashay away the next, but got a golden ticket and now she's here in the top five. It's truly wild. If I had to live this season all over again, I wouldn't change a thing. So RuPaul looks really cute. I like this black look, number one, number two. The girls are gonna have to write lyrics to Catwalk, which I love Catwalk, by the way. I listen to that song, I, w I was about to say quite often, but I listened to it a lot when it just came out, but I kind of haven't listened to it in a couple of weeks. But I still love the song. Uh, they're gonna write their own lyrics, they're going to do choreography, uh, they're going to perform their verse, they're going to design their outfit which is something new that's a new element that's being added and i really like that because i feel like 
it's kind of uh, it's fine it's been fine in the past but when you get to this point and everyone's like okay now i'm going to do a verse with rupaul let me pull out something from my closet sometimes as a group when they're performing it looks all over the place so if they can all design something really cute and cohesive, that would be really cute. And it's like, let me see what you would do if you had money to or to like order a designer around to do stuff for you. I like it. Oh my oh. gosh. Hi. It's Bosco. It's me. And you gotta slit all the way all up. All the way up. Oh my, what are you gonna do? Arrest me for smoking? <laughs> I don't know what my takeaway was from this interview with Bosco. Bosco is fun. Bosco is cute. Um, I learned nothing new about Bosco. And one of the things I re remember a lot from different seasons and I liked a lot reviewing these episodes is that I learned something about the queen that I didn't know before. And that was kind of exciting for me. This time around, pretty much the gist of our interview was I'm good at being a bitch and it got me three wins because I won three comedy based challenges and the reading challenge. Yay me. The producers really dropped the ball in this one. They could have really jumped back into Bosco rediscovering herself in the competition and coming to terms with certain things, but they didn't go that route at all. in the top five. You know what, I saw myself being here for sure. You did. I did. I, I did not. <laughs> Diabetti is looking real good in that flannel. I must say I'm into it a lot. <laughs> uh, Diabetti is someone I didn't see being here either. She went home first for Christ's sakes. And all I saw was Crystal Method every time I looked at her. And I agree with Michelle and RuPaul. At a certain point, there was a shift and I forgot about Crystal Method and I just saw Daya because her personality came through. She was no longer trying to be something she thought they wanted to see. She was just being a bitch, being herself, being authentic and very real and raw. And everyone online was like, oh, she's a villain. I live for a villain. I like when someone's on my TV screen that's relatable because we all think stuff now it's nice to hear someone say it and as far as i'm concerned she has not hurt anyone yet she's just being real if it were like damaging i'd be like girl you're doing way too much and you need to stop but she's not so it's fine and i'm glad that she made it this far because she's made the season more interesting this is the tic tac chit chat yeah. And you won the Tic Tac Challenge in your first episode. It seems like so long ago. And Jiria is just so adorable. From the smile to the way she laughs, it's so specific and so freaking cute. I learned a little bit about Angeria, uh, which is that her parents called her like Bodhi. I think that's what she said. I do not watch this <laughs> episode with closed captioning, but I thought that was really cute. And them like coaching her on how she needs to be on the show to be successful and take home the crown and brought a tear to my eye. That type of support from your parents, a lot of people only dream. So I'm happy that she shared that story with us. And I'm also happy that Angira is still in the competition. Like she started off real hot and I was worried for a minute, but she's here towards the end and I couldn't be more freaking happy for her. I've commented on your take on life and how much I admire it. Willow Pill talks about her cystinosis and just how she maneuvers her day-to-day -day life with doing things another way to substitute for where she is not able to. And you never think about that, being like fully abled people sometimes. And I just think she's remarkable. She has this energy about her where it's like, I'm not defeated. And this is n not the entirety of who I am. It's just a small fraction of what's happening with me at the moment. But her energy is really something special. 
and she reminds me a lot of her i don't know if it's her drag mom drag sister or whatever the situation or the relationship is with evie oddly they have the same type of thing where you can tell there's a fire beneath their eyes or behind their eyes because they have these chronic illnesses and these conditions where it makes life a little more difficult for them than the average person and they really are fighting for their lives they want to make sure that they have accomplished everything that they've ever wanted to and they've taken every chance that they were given before things get to a point where they're not able to and that's pretty special here you are how have you changed in this competition i think what i've learned maybe in this competition is that any of the risks that i've taken on the runway or in the challenges are the things that paid off the most you know i like lady camden a lot i sometimes forget she's human and that she has a lot of emotions and feelings like everybody else and i'm gonna tell you exactly what i mean watching her on the show there are moments where she is vulnerable and you can see frustration and stuff like that but she doesn't really let you that deeply in and she has spoken about her losing her brother in the past but at the same time because she's always so perfect almost and she's always so in it and present when she's you know performing and doing things and you never really see her get too personal with the girls and like really get into too many deep things. It's almost like, wow, sometimes I really forget that you're a full person with a lot going on because you hide it so well. So it was ha not happy, but it was really interesting and refreshing to see her break down her walls again and like let us in a little bit more because I don't feel like I get that a lot from her throughout the season. Oh my goodness! Oh, look at her oh, oh, we got clothes! Today's music video day. So we walk in and at our stations are all of the outfits that we designed. The girls get their outfits within like a day it seems. I don't know if that's real or that's just TV magic like when you Pre prepare food on top and you go into the oven and then ooh, it's done that's wild because these are really well-made intricate outfits that they gave handed in their designs like the night before or something either way that's dope i made music videos a long long time ago <laughs> it was always very fast paced and guess what it's gonna be just like that here today. They have to go and learn choreography immediately and jump on a stage right away and do it with the backup dancers for the music video. Everything's happening now, today, in the moment. And I'm exhausted because I would have been like, I need a break. <laughs> That's just too much work. Way too much work. Ugh. Um, but the girls did pretty decent. I thought Angeria looked amazing. Her performance was good. She wasn't like super on the choreography, but she sold it. She didn't take Michelle's note about crawling like a little puppy or whatever, but she still looked amazing to me. And she was modeling the heck out of that. I feel like it was a human hair unit. I don't know, but it was long and it was giving. As for Diabetti, the minute I knew that Angie was not gonna crawl on the catwalk and I was next to go, I'm like, move aside, bitch, let me do it. Yeah. Daya gets on stage and- She took the note and she crawled. And by the way, I love that Betty's outfit. And I love the hair with it. It's just everything. Betty Boop, whatever you wanna call it, I don't care about the references and the inspiration behind it. It was so good on her. That's really her, her what do you call it, a niche? Like, that's her judge. That's where she shines. She looked good. I liked her performance as well. Bosco, the performance was good. I didn't live for the outfit. I kind of agree with Willow as far as the outfit looks. It's very like Judy Jetson, and that's not what I want to see. <laughs> Judy Jetson was fire, but on Bosco, it just read differently for me. Uh, as far as Willow Pill, I liked her outfit, but 
I don't know. I liked her outfit, but it just wasn't like, I feel like something was missing. Maybe it was the shoes that I didn't care for. Cause the outfit was good, but I'm like looking at the entire thing, I'm not feeling something. And I think it's the shoes. And the hair was good. I like that. It went cute with the outfit and all. Oh Lord. <laughs> Anyways, the point that Bosco was making about Willow's performance, I've been noticing that every single time I've seen Willow perform or lip sync, she'll do the moves, but her face and her expressions, it's just like not there. She looks like she's counting steps in her head and she, her body's doing everything, but her face is just like, I'm computing what my body needs to do. And that's so tragic because I'm like, she's a good dancer and she can move her body in a really interesting way, but she has no emotion in the face. Uh, who was next? Who did I forget? Lady Camden, loved her. She looked amazing. She's a dancer, so her body is sick and she knows how to con contort it and do all the stuff. Her outfit was fine. It was nice, actually. I hated the shoes. The shoes is what I didn't like. Everything else was fine. Mama Ru is looking spectacular. Like, this is like her zhuzh of a hairdo. She loves it rounded and plastic <laughs> and it works and this color works for her. But more importantly, this dress. This is how you do prints, like mix and matching prints. This is really beautifully done. It could have easily looked tacky. It's right on the border, but it looks spectacular and it looks expensive. And that's not easy to do. Category is you're a winner, baby. Okay, um, I get it. Bosco is trying to give us Marilyn and Madonna and burlesque and 1920s showgirl Hollywood. You name all the references. I've heard them. I know what she's trying to give. Do I like it? I do not. This is just not it for me. The hair is fine. The jewelry is fine. The garment is... I see the concept. It's executed. But is it good? Is it fashion? I mean, look at the material. All the references. Don't like it. Angie looks stunning in the face. The hair is gorgeous. She has a little fascinator. Now that's very South pageant queen. Very Alyssa Edwards. Um, damn, this for the finale. Okay, honest opinion, she looks great. Nothing wrong with it, but it's a bit basic for a finale outfit for me. Again, y'all watch and hear what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it's just an opinion, we can argue about it in the comments. For some of you, this might be the best thing she could have possibly worn on the finale. I feel like this is something she would wear at the end of the night performing for a few hours in a club. Like if she's the, the headliner for the entire night, she'll do her little numbers in her leotards and she'll come out at the end of the night and do a few ballads and close out. This is what she would probably put on for her ballads. And I, when I look at her outfit tonight, I don't want to feel like that. And that's what I'm feeling. So it's cute, but I'm not gagging. Diabetti understood the assignment. Now, before I even go into the garment, has she been changing up her makeup, her eye makeup? Because I've been noticing that she doesn't look as much like Crystal anymore. So I feel like she's done something different with her makeup so that I'm not even, I forgot she was related to Crystal for like a few episodes now. But anyways, probably in my head, the makeup's probably the same or it really has changed. So I'm not referencing her to her, to the family member anymore. This outfit, love the hair, love the makeup, love the concept. You made it through the fire. It's different. It's a concept that screams Diabetti because Diabetti has been out of the box the entire competition. She's been 
let me try something weird, let me try something new, let me try something unconventional, like she's that girl. And I feel like this really sums up what her style is. It's, I'm never going to give you what you expect or what the norm is. I'm going to put a little twist onto it. And I love this for her. And it doesn't fully touch the ground, but it's close enough. So I'm gonna give you a pass on this gown. And I love the idea of it being burnt. I, I love this. Lady Camden looks freaking spectacular from head to toe. It's like a Barbie doll come to life. The face is freaking like porcelain. I love the big fake ass piece of hair hanging off the back of her head. I live for that. I live for this gown. I live for everything. Like this is what I really want to see in a finale outfit. Like I want it to sparkle. I want it to shine. I want it to feel like you were really saving this for last. Not like, I got to the end and this is what I have left. Okay, Willow Pill is obsessed with rats and I'm disgusted. <laughs> Not by her outfit, just by the fact that she loves rats. I hate them. I don't want anything to do with them. If I see one, whatever vicinity that's in, I will no longer be there. Now, onto this outfit, I love what she's done with the makeup. It's very child's party makeup where you just paint on some whiskers and a black nose. It's nothing extravagant. It's not like Nina Bonita Brown or Charity Case, you know, going ham with prosthetics and stuff. It's very simple. And then she added some appliques on her eyes to like zhuzh it up. But outside of that, I'm really impressed with the whole lavender skin that's going on like it's done pretty decently i love the hair i love the idea of the outfit i feel like the outfit is really good but because bosco doesn't use a breastplate or bras it looks a little flat and wide on the chest area and that's kind of one of my main critiques on that front but i love this outfit the concept of it is really fun and i expected nothing less than this from bosco if i'm being honest I'm really happy she delivered on that. Watching the music video for Catwalk, a few things I noticed before I get into the girls and like giving my opinions <laughs> on what they did. RuPaul uh, was standing behind the camera and giving that moment of um, a George, that George Michael music video with all the supermodels and everything. I wish RuPaul was in full drag and she actually walked the runway at one point. That would have been pretty cool, but at last, she don't want to put on drag for nobody. It's okay. But let's talk about the girls. Now let's start with Angeria. I felt like Angeria looked good. I really enjoyed watching her in the music video. I wouldn't say she was a huge standout. Or maybe it would. I don't know. I like the way she was walking and I like how she, her verse was fine. Her verse was fine. But most, of what I liked was just the way she was moving and I felt like it was very confident and I was like really into whatever she was doing because she seemed so powerful. But outside of that, it was okay. And uh, let's see, Bosco. Bosco was not even lip syncing to the same song and this is the part that she wrote. This is her own verse. I'm like, the, the 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 track is saying one thing but your mouth is saying something else i don't understand what's happening here and i didn't like how it sounded like her ver the voice that was used i don't know if it was the way they edited it or whatever the case was but it just didn't feel like it fit into the song so her bad outfit the bad lip sync and the verse that i didn't care for sounding how it sounded like there's too many strikes against you. I don't know if you're gonna make it to the finale episode. Sorry about it. Um, I liked Willow Pills first more than anybody else's. I really enjoyed it. I felt like she was a bit dead in the face still, 
but I really enjoyed her verse. Like her verse is one of the only ones that I was listening to and I was like, oh, 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 I like what you're saying. It's really cute. Everybody else was totally fine. Lady Camden didn't care for her verse one bit, but she does a high kick like nobody's business. So I was like, work. Uh, as far as Diabetes concerned, I really enjoyed her set because she was crawling, she was giving attitude, she was giving that fierceness that I live for in a drag queen. If you're a fierce drag queen, you have my vote. Like, it's really simple. I'm a simple person to please. If I feel like you're powerful and you just exude fierceness, then I live for you pretty much and she was giving me very that um her verse wasn't bad but it was definitely not the best so i feel like daya is a shoo-in for the grand finale you don't get as much time as you'd like with arch thank you rupaul does the famous at this point um question of what would you say to your younger self all the girls had nothing but beautiful things to say to their younger selves. This season, it's very special because you have two openly trans people on the stage that kind of come to terms to their gender identity while being on the show. And you've never really had that before. It's a little different and everybody else they had beautiful things to say their photos were cute as heck and it was very moving my freaking goodness i made it to the finale this is freaking insane to me so you are the winner of this week's challenge yeah! oh my god i won the fucking last fucking maxi challenge so diabetti gets told she's safe she's going to the grand finale first which I feel like she really deserves because she's been working her butt off this entire season to prove that what happened that first episode was a fluke. And I believe wholeheartedly it was. As for the winner of this week's challenge, it's Lady Camden and no one deserves it more than she does. She was serving every bit of fierceness you would need from a drag queen when she was supposed to do that catwalk um, runway, music video whatever the heck that was her verse while i don't remember it that much because it wasn't that memorable to me i didn't care because she was fire on that stage and i liked her outfit it was kind of cute i didn't care for the shoes i said that and as far as a uh, finale outfit goes she has my favorite she has my favorite because it's the drag of it all. It's the glitz of it all. It's the glam. It's just the bedazzledness. And that's what I kind of expect and want to see on a finale stage. Congratulations. You are moving forward to the grand finale. Thank you. My they fully made Bosco safe. When Bosco was not even mouthing the words to her own lyrics, they called Willow out for it, but they didn't call Bosco out for it. And Bosco looked weird as heck in that outfit on stage. And then the main stage now, this runway, I'm not living for it. Okay, I don't get it. I don't get it. Nigeria and Willow are in the bottom. Let's go through this lip sync and see what happens. Cause at this point, I smell something and it don't smell fresh. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> the Queens lip synced to Beyonce uh, and Lady Gaga's telephone song. I thought this was perfect because if I were them and knowing the friendship they have and the chemistry, when it came to the Beyonce part, if I were, were um, Willow, I'd stop and be like hyping her up like, you better go. And when it came to the <laughs> uh, Lady Gaga part, Beyonce would stop, well, 
and Jira would stop and like hype Willow up and it would be like a performance rather than like a lip sync for your life. But yeah, that's just in my little fantasy head. They both did really great. They were both dancing. They were both having so much fun. Towards the end, it didn't even feel like they were lip syncing against each other, but just like having a real good time on stage. And that's why it's so hard for me to be like, pick a winner. I wish they could all make it to the freaking top five. Well, not that they could all make it to the grand finale, because I feel like one person who got the okay to go to the grand finale should be in the bottom and should be going home tonight. And that's my personal opinion. You might feel very strongly against it. I don't feel like Willow nor Angeria deserves to go home. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's sad to think that one of them will not be in the finale. Shantae, you stay. Congratulations. You'll be moving on to the grand finale. Willow Pill. My dear. Shantae, you stay. <laughs> you see, that's the type of foolishness I just cannot be bothered with. Because I'm here looking on like, okay, Angeria, you're in. That means Willow is out. It's really sad, but the show has to keep going on. And now I come to find out it's a top five at the grand finale. We've never had that before. This is kind of historic. And all I can think about is, well, damn, that means there's, there's gonna be more lip syncs. <laughs> Because you know they're going to bring that wheel out and they're going to do that whole process again. And it's going to be like that episode that we just had a few weeks ago. <sighs> I'm happy that Willow and Anjira gets to stay, but at the same time, it's just like they're going to pull some stunts next week. I feel it. But anyways, I'm really happy to see all the girls sticking together and continuing on. That's great. la di da di da Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all the socials. I'm back on those as well. I took a break because you need to take care of yourself. And go over to my Patreon. I'm going to be updating a lot of new stuff there because I'm refreshed. And it's time. Until next time. See you at the grand finale. Bye. Hey beautiful humans, you've made it this far in this video, why not subscribe to my Patreon? You can sign up for exclusive content I don't post on YouTube, or support me making content for this channel. Speaking of, why don't you watch another video?